Okay, so yeah, I know my makeup's smeared and everything, but um, I just wanted to do this video really fast because I don't know if people have really done it. Um, this is how to make professional looking strawberries. I'm going to turn on my tree, the ones that we already finished. I don't know if you can see them very well. Well, the chocolate dries really nicely. And they just look really good when you're done. Um, first thing I do, I don't use Hershey chocolate. I like I've used the white chocolate and it didn't really work. Um, but I do use truffles from Costco. And that's what I've noticed works the best. What I do is I'll put a few like these. These are the seasonal. Um, I'll get the brand at the end of the thing and show you what brand they are. But they're, they're the truffles. I get them from Costco. They're seasonal. There's three in here. What I do is I take these truffles and I put them in a small bowl. See this? Yeah, I have dishes. I've been baking all day. But I put them into a very small bowl. Like there's a normal size and there's that bowl. So I put them into a very small bowl and then I microwave them. Not with the spoon in it, of course. But I microwave them. Um, if I put three in, maybe I'd microwave it for like 24 seconds. Um, the first time I did it, I put six and I microwaved it for I think 35, 40 seconds. I, you don't want it melted all the way. These truffles, when you melt them, you want them melted so the, about the tip is still showing. So the bottom part is all melted in, into the um, into the bowl, but the tip is still showing because you don't want to burn them. So I melt them all about halfway, and then the chocolate itself is really hot and melted. So then I just get a spoon or in this case, I use my fork at first. It's all covered in chocolate. I use my fork and I just, you know, stir it together. So, you do that. Of course, you need strawberries. So we have, you know, I think of strawberries. You get your strawberries. You have to wash them and you have to make sure they're dry. To dry them, I just do a paper towel around them. Or like a regular towel, dish towel, a clean one. And um, I just pat them dry and I make sure they're dry. So you get these. After they're all dry and everything, I'm not going to exactly do them in the video, but I'm telling you how to do them, because um, we just finished, and I just realized, well, I should put this up, because this chocolate works wonders. It looks professional. So after I melt them in here, and I take these, these are clean now, and they're dry, these are dry now, I take these, and I just roll them around. I hold the stem, and I roll them around. Sorry, I'm right-handed. So I just roll it around in chocolate, and I dip it into the chocolate. And then when I pull it out, I let all the chocolate drip down. And then I put them on like a plate porcelain. These are porcelain glass, so they work really well, so they don't stick as well. Just stick them on there to dry. And that's how you make them. Um, let me go, go find the brand name. I'm just going to see if I can pause this for a second. Or maybe I can't. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Okay, so this is what I use. These are truffles, truffettes de France. Costco, these are $12. And there comes um, two of these in a package, and each package has four. So the one box has two of these containers next to each other, and each package has four. And these are, I think, with tax around $15 at Costco. To buy them online, they run for $24 on Amazon and stuff. Like, these are really, really good. Um, they're, like, bittersweet on the outside, and the inside they're really sweet. A lot of people say that they're just too sweet. Like, you don't bite into them, you let them melt. But these are fantastic for chocolate covered strawberries. And so, this is how they look after you dip them. It's really simple, really easy. Honestly, it's all about what chocolate you use. You notice these, like... Literally, these like shine, like the chocolate on them. There's one in the middle, but I ate it. I either I use the leftover chocolate on it because it wasn't a lot, and I just put it there to dry. When these dry, they literally like shine. Kind of show you, but they they like are really smooth, and they just taste amazing. So number one thing is the chocolate. Can you see that? No, not do it this way. Sorry. My first video of cooking. So these, these are awesome. Um, I definitely use these. 
because I've just noticed I've used Hershey's. White chocolate it never worked for me. The dark chocolate, it didn't work very well. It didn't dry very quickly. Um, yeah, they always say, oh, well, you do it on a stove top to melt the chocolate, but these are fantastic in the microwave. And you just melt them about halfway so the tip of them are still showing. Put them in a bowl, grab the clean washed strawberries that are dry, roll them around in it, let them drip dry for a few seconds, put them on the plate, and they will dry themselves and they will look fabulous and they'll taste fabulous. They're so good. Even if strawberries are nasty, those will make the strawberries taste good. It's amazing. So, uh, that's how you make the perfect chocolate covered strawberries. So, there you go. Um, I do want to do something about burnt almond because when I've looked on here, I haven't been able to find them. I've seen like the chocolate almond cake, but I've never seen burnt almond. And um, there's a famous six bakery in San Jose, California. And I do want to do a video of that. So you'll probably see something like that. And I have my really good chocolate cake made from scratch, and I'll do that. And the peanut butter cookies from scratch, like, I love baking. So you'll probably see some of those coming up, hopefully, soon. Um, you know, see my little girl baking with me. So I just wanted to stick that up so you guys would know what, what kind of chocolate to use and how to do it. It's really quick and easy. They look professional, and they're so expensive to buy them. I know um, Aaliyah's dad bought me, like, three strawberries in high school from this... It's a chocolate place. It's called Mountain Something or Chocolate Mountain or something. It was at the mall. There was a big old teddy bear in front of the store. It was like $24 for those three strawberries. And they're large strawberries. And these are large strawberries. And what? For all the strawberries, the packet of it was $10. And this is $15. That's, you know, you, you can make three strawberries. You can make a whole thing of strawberries and a, with all the chocolate for the same price. It's like ridiculous. Um how expensive chocolate covered strawberries are. So that's how you do them. They look really great. I mean, you could do these for weddings. You could do these for parties. You can do these. I did it for Valentine's Day with some friends. Um, you know, busted out the sparkling cider. So um, they're really good. They're great for all occasions. They look professional and it's really cheap. So if you have a Costco card, go get that chocolate. And if you don't have a Costco card, find someone who does so you can get it. But that is just the perfect chocolate to use for chocolate covered strawberries. It's delicious. When you mix it up with the bitter and the sweet together, it just makes it really good. It's not too sweet. They're not too creamy, but they're creamy. They're just really good. The best chocolate I've ever had. My mom thinks they're better than C's. So, you know, and even if you don't want to make chocolate covered strawberries, you just want chocolate. So, yeah, that's my video. Um, I guess you could subscribe. I've never really done video for people to subscribe to. I just do videos for it, um, my daughter's family, but um, there you go. So I, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you enjoy your chocolate covered strawberries. They're really good. Okay, bye.